One evening, a traveller knocked upon the door of three brothers. It was the youngest two who answered the door. The traveller smiled and asked kindly if he could come in out of the pouring rain as he was cold, wet and starving. The youngest of the three let the fellow in. The eldest brother, who was not as kind as the younger two, was furious. He would not let the traveller stay without paying. For how could room and board and meat and potatoes possibly be free? But the traveller had no money to pay. And with no money, he instead offered the three brothers something else. His talisman from the distant lands of India. What does it do? The eldest brother asked. It grants wishes, answered the traveller. Then I accept. The eldest brother took it from the hands of the traveller and quickly made his wish for a large sum of money to be granted to them for their kindness. The traveller ate and slept and was gone by morning. The three of them didn't say a word and headed off to work. Their place of work was the umbrella factory, which was always busy this time of year, producing umbrellas of all shapes and sizes. But that afternoon, something horrible happened. Quite unfortunately, the youngest brother was caught in the gears and killed, his body mutilated by the machinery. To aid against their sorrow, the factory manager offered the brothers a large sum of money on behalf of their youngest brother. That evening, sitting by the fire, the second brother grabbed the talisman and wished that his little brother was still alive. As the wish was made, off amongst the graves of the cemetery, the mutilated youngest brother pulled himself up out of the ground. His bones rattled and his skin shook. With a knock, he knocked upon the door of his old home. The other two brothers looked through the peephole in fear. They could not believe he is here. You should have let me be. The undead brother screamed. I should be dead still from all this pain. All of a sudden, he knocked in the door. Finding his brother still holding the talisman, he grabbed him and began to strangle the life from him in revenge. It was then that the oldest of the three scrambled for the monkey's paw to make the final wish. I just wished that none of this had ever happened. One evening, a traveller knocked upon the door of three brothers. It's been a while since I was in the city proper. I marvel at the nuances. It's changed so much and so little at the same time. I like to start the night where the people are. Watch for the buses. See who gets off. Make sure there isn't anyone I know. For even I know people. Friends. Acquaintances. Acquaintances mostly. If there's no one on the bus, I stroll down to the narrow parts of town. Check the pubs. The alleyways behind the girly houses. And if it's a quiet night, like it is tonight, you can always find a lonely cab driver waiting on someone else to be lonely as well. After 123 years of this, you get good at spotting the good ones, the sad ones, the wretched. Where to? He asks. But I make no sign that I'm even hearing what he says. I like it when they get nervous. Tick tock. Are you deaf? I don't answer. I just stab. My knife's one and only purpose is to stab. And stab, I do. A ripper's work is never done. I'll remember him for a little while, but let's not make this something that ain't. You wouldn't remember him either.
Watch new vids every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, only on Crypt TV.